Hey guys, Just Kadamu here with another Army Man toy review, and today I'm reviewing Armies in Plastic Boxer Rebellion China 1900 Chinese Boxers. They don't actually look like boxers, but I think that's what the, <laughs> the group that they're representing is. The way it has boxing gloves, just for the record. And not, also, not associated with Canada's Boxing Day. Surprise, surprise. Anyways, this review is brought to you by TrainsAndToysSoldiers.com. There's a link for them down below in the more info area, and you can get this product there. So be very, very excited. They, uh, I told them that we've been being asked to review Armies in Plastic, so they put them in their store and sent us some to review. Pretty, pretty awesome. So, there are 20 plastic soldiers here, 10 different poses. I have them back-to-back. -back. Just taking a, just a quick overview of the soldiers. You can see what they look like from the opposite angle. Lots of melee combat here. I think we have about two people that have rifles of some sort. Laying all ten poses out across makes them look quite huge. So you've got two squads of soldiers here. We've got the only guy with a shield, interestingly enough. Just a rather plain shield. Got a long braided hair. Little hat. This mighty looking sword. Swinging, defending, etc. Possibly fighting. Well, they're on the same side, but you know, maybe they're just practicing. <laughs> Got another guy here. Also has a long braid. So these are keeping with their time periods. Their outfits are different. Just something important to note. Stabbed in the back. Ah. Oh. With friends like you, who needs enemies? <laughs> what did you do? It was an accident. Oh, that was an accident too. So he got this huge trident above his head. Outfit is also just a little bit different. I like that. I'm trying to bring up three at a time to review. Show off more details. Got another guy running with the trident, but as you'll notice. This one has a different kind of head. It's got a head wrap there, running forwards. This brings new me meaning to the words, do not run with scissors. So, so shoot your eye out. Something along those lines. All right, we're gonna charge at each other at the same speed. We're gonna try and hit our weapons together and do that cool anime thing where there's an electrical burst that pushes us apart. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, man. It was an accident. <laughs> this one has just a little bit of blue powder on him. Probably run him under water and uh, it would all come off. That's my guess. These aren't overloaded with detail, but they do have very nice detail. I guess I should talk about their flexibility. So they're really strong plastic. Really going to last well. They feel a lot like, you know, different plastics have different feels. Feels kind of like the same plastic or similar plastic in quality to the Timmy Toy Soldiers brand. Which are some of your best out there for uh, standard plastic toy soldiers. This guy was a little smarter. He's walking with a large stabbing weapon. Marching, perhaps. But he brought a knife to a gunfight. So this probably isn't going to go very well. See, both had the long hair. Their heads look different. Something important to notice. I'm going to slowly stab you. Oh, no, that was a bad idea. Aha! You have forgotten your sword! Oh. Uh, I know who's going to win this fight. So, traditional standing machine. He doesn't have a sash around his belt or anything around his midsection. Makes him you know, very plain, but very different. This guy looks very important. Like a commander or something. It's based on the detail that's on him. Sadly, he brought a sword to a gunfight. 
And our last guy, also taking a lesson about running with scissors, slowly marching forwards with what kind of looks like a sword with a really long stick, which eh, more or less is just a, uh, a spear. But if you were to like trim this down, if you just wanted to make a variation, you could be like, cut that. And there you have the sword. Yes! <laughs> it's got a different hat than all of the others. His own unique hat makes him special. Reminds me of the old Firefly quote. You know if a man goes outside wearing a hat like that, he ain't afraid of nobody. Some quite nice soldiers. Really, really cool. I like reviewing stuff from other periods because they look so different. You get some nice variety. So, Boxer Rebellion, China, 1900. Chinese boxers. As you can see, none of them are wearing boxing gloves. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and I know that. I'm just making a fun joke. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to like, favor, and subscribe as I will post a new toy review just about every other day. And I post a new army toy just about every Friday. And make sure to check out our sponsor, TrainsToysoldiers.com. There's a link for them down below in the more info area just beneath this video.